Hello there. Well, last week, a buddy of mine, a Facebook friend from Florida, Jorge, asked me, you know, if, if I had any advice for flatbedding. He's just getting into it. And uh, if I want to give him any tips or anything, I thought, wow, that's pretty cool, man. I could do that. How about I make you a video? I'll show you something. So I'm going to show you what I do when I throw straps. Um, you know, bigger hell, man. That's cool, man. But uh, show you. People tend to do things different, and um, I just find this to be you know, a lot of fucking cars park in rest areas in the truck parking. I don't fucking get that. So fucking stupid. Anyway, let me show you. Shit, man. This family comes to the goddamn rest area to fucking play. Who brings their family to a fucking rest area to play? Fucking for real. Anyway, I take my strap, hook, rolled up like this. This is how I was taught. Drop it in here. Bring it around. Back in. So, and then I, oh shit, not a bad spot. Drop it in. And then I'm gonna put a twist in it. Yeah, just. All right, one more time. Let's see. Hook, bring it in, drop it through here, and bring it back through. That's got it. Now when you got tall stuff, you want to put a twist in it, and throw it over. I'm going to do it on this stuff because um, I think when you got a twist in it, it uh, it's tighter, it makes it tighter. Therefore, it'll hang on better. So. Or you can just throw it like this. But I like to do it like this so it's already hooked so when you get to the other side. For real. Hey, let's go to the rest area and party. <laughs> show you these twists. See, I'll put a twist in that. It just seems to uh, st stay tighter for me. When you, and the reason you want to do it on tall stuff is because when you've got that height and uh, there's not a twist in it, it ends up like <laughs> hitting the side of whatever the fuck you're hauling, right? And, and it loosens up too, so I, I like to do it in stuff like this. To me, I mean, it's not an opinion, it's factual. I mean, over time I've done it many times and I just know it stays tighter, it just does. Okay, I'll show you one more time how to put this strap in what I'm talking about and this is before I throw it the reason I like to do this is because a lot of times if you just throw it like this it, 
then you hook it in here and it may not stay hooked, right? But I'd go ahead, I drop it in the pocket like this, bring it back in, and then it's hooked. It's going to stay hooked. And then throw the motherfucker. The way it stays hooked, you go on the other side, you just pull on it. And if you throw it the other way where you throw the hook over, you see a lot of guys do that, like they'll leave their straps in their winches. Then they undo them and then they throw the fucking hook and all this. And, well, then they got to walk over to the other side, get it hooked, and then some guys hook it underneath here. I don't know. You hear all kinds of shit from different people on the proper way to do shit. I say you look around, see what everybody else does, ask questions. If you don't understand why they're doing it, ask them why they're doing it that way. And just find out what works best for you. You know, that's for everybody. Find out what works best for you. You'll see all kinds of shit. And best thing is, see what all kinds of people do. You'll see something that you'll be like, hell yeah, that's best way to do it for me that makes the most sense so that's Dooner's flat bedding tip for the day if you got any questions I'll do my best to answer them if you you know and if I don't can't get them well I got a lot of friends do the same shit and uh we can ask them or I'll just figure out a fucking way or I'll bullshit you one, one, one way or another. So. All right. See ya.